hello guys i'm Rohit. welcome to chatbot series so let's get started so in this series we have chatbot for website where we have added two intents uh, two three intent skills are meeting academic section so let's create an intent for which we want to respond through the book so let's create an intent called webhook demo so no context and in the training we can add a demo webhook demo so in the response section we don't want a text response so what we want we want a fulfillment for webhook so let's enable fulfillment here and save here all right now let's go into the fulfillment so fulfillment have two options one is webhook other one is inline editor so inline editor is also a webhook part but it's hosted on google cloud functions all right so let's enable webhook here so it requires a url so url of the webhook so it should be https so let's create a url all right so let's create a webhook server for this so i'm making a new project in the desktop so i'm calling it stbot still stbot all right so so initialize a node application all right install two three dependencies one is express also we will use ngrock for hosting like for deploying it on the public ip so what ngrock do ngrock Android is a npm package that will open our local port to public port so yeah so our local port as city it can convert on the public port so let's jump in for editor a create a file index.js and uh, and let's make a basic route for testing express all right so let me import so i'm importing the express here and now i'm calling express app now i'm defining app as express app all right so we want a get request on a default route so a callback function which have two parameter request and response and we want to send a response on the default route that we are live also we want to listen somewhere of this app so app dot listen we are listening on port 3333 with a callback and we can write here like server is live at port 3333 let's have it and test it so server is live at port 33 let's open the port 33 so we are live now it's locally we cannot access this port outside this laptop we have to back this web uh, live server so what we need here so we need to install the ngrok here so install ngrok globally and run this command so ngrok http 3333 so it will open our http 334 to the public so it generate a custom url so copy link and we can see we are live at a public port with the HTTPS tag so let's copy this and paste it here and save it so step 1 is done so now let's define a post request so dialogflow can access over webhook on the default route the same parameter request and response now we want to define a agent 
so before de de defining agent we have to import a dialog flow library so close this app and install a dialog flow library Also, we have to install one more supplement for this library, which is Accents on Google. So, Accents on Google. All right. So, let's import the library here. Dialog flow fulfillment as require dialog flow fulfillment. All right. So. Let's define our agent, which is new dialog flow fulfillment dot webhooks client. So this webhook client has two parameters: request and response. So let's define as same as request and response. So request is same as request. And response is same as response. All right. So our step two is done. Our bot is initiated. Now define a function like a demo function, which has a parameter uh, of this agent. So whenever we pass a agent in a function, so we can add something to this agent. So let's add something to this agent. A basic text response. Sending response from webhook server. All right. So now we have to map this function to a intent. So what is our intent? So let's go to intents. And our intent is webhook demo. Let's copy it. Let's. All right. So now define a variable intent map. So it's a new map function. So map is an inbuilt JavaScript function. Now map this intent. So a set has two parameter. One is key and other one is value. So key is our intent name that we copied, and the value is the function name. That we want to assign. So, all right, and we want to, we want our agent to handle request. So, agent dot handle request and pass the intent map function. So, copy this name and paste here. All right, let's save it and test it. So server is live at three three three. We can test it here as well. So this is live. Now if I say demo, okay. So it's saying cannot read property uh, result of undefined. All right. So that's because of the content we are sending in the JSON format. So we have to pass a JSON property here. So All right, let's save it and restart the server. Check again. So we are live again, and now test send the demo. So sending response from the Google server. We can test in the site as well. So if I write demo, oh sorry. So it's sending response from the Google server. That is same as. Here. So if I update as version 1.1.1 and save it, and if I restart the server, and if we check here, so it's sending me as a version. All right, so it's working fine. Now we want to send a custom payload here. All right, so. Let's define a custom payload. So make a new function. So make a new intent. 
called custom payload so no context and the training we can add a custom payload demo the custom payload Let, let's copy this name and we'll map this to our intent also delete this text response and enable webhook call for this intent save it and let's go to our webhook so define a function same as custom payload pass a parameter called agent and we want to add a custom payload here so define a payload property so define a custom payload data for this custom payload data we can use uh, dialect flow messenger uh, documentation so let's go to the documentation and copy any custom payload you want from here So if I want to send a let's copy it and save it here. Alright, so now we want to add this add this payload data to our agent. So for that we need we need to define payload. So agent dot add. So we have to define a new dialog flow fulfillment dot payload. Also payload now payload have three options one payload first is platform other one is payload and third one is uh, properties so for the platform we want platform dot unspecified all right so and the next one is payload data so which is on payload data and third one is properties so let's copy this And paste it here so send it message we want it as a true and row payload also we want true so remove this semicolon and add a comma all right so we want to send as a message and we want to say as a row payload because this is our row payload data all right so everything is fine also we want to map this custom payload demo function to the intent so let's copy this function name also we have to map this intent so intent map dot set root name of our intent so intent name is also same and the custom payload is a function which we defined here all right so let's save it and restart the server again test the server so we working fine and if I write custom payload so there is an issue so platform is not defined all right so uh, we have to replace platform with agent so agent dot unspecified and specified yeah there is no typo i think all right let's test the server again all right so we can see a custom payload here all right guys so that's that should for video we defined our first webhook server in the next video we will use context in the webhook and we will save our data in our database the